Hi guys, my name's Tom Johnson and today I'm bringing you a workout from the My Protein Workout Series. We're all in this situation together, we're all at home, so let's make the best of it and do this workout today. We're gonna start with upper body today. So all the exercises are very simple exercises that we can maybe make a little bit more difficult for people that are a bit more advanced. But I'm, gonna, I'm going to be honest, straight out the bat, if you are a regular gym goer, anywhere from intermediate to advanced, these workouts, they are, they're not really gonna build you any more muscle than you already have. They're here to help you maintain while we're in this situation, okay? So don't be expecting to, to blow up and make loads of gains. What we've got to do is just try and make the best of the situation and maintain what we've got. If you're a beginner, on the other hand, some of this stif stuff is gonna be really quite good for you to do. But anyway, let's, let's get into it. I'm gonna get my stopwatch now and we're gonna put half an hour on the clock. Okay, we're gonna give ourselves half an hour for this workout. We're gonna start with a bit of chest, a bit of tri a bit of shoulders, and a bit of triceps, and let's see how it goes. So, half an hour starts now. So, first exercise we're gonna do, really simple, we're gonna start with press-ups. Now, there's a few different variants that you can do to make these press-ups harder, okay? If you can't do press-ups at all, okay, the first variant is press-ups on your knees, okay? So we can go into this position here, and we can go down and do press-ups on our knees like this. Now, if you can do press-ups, okay, you go into this position here, and you just do the press-ups wide so we hit the chest, okay? And if you can do them really easy, which I'll show you later on, we can do decline press-ups, okay? So you can put your feet on a bench, the sofa, put it in anything, and we can do press-ups that way. So that's one thing we can do. After we've done the press-ups, guys, we're gonna get into triceps straight away. So again, a few different variants of people if you want to try that. We've got knees on the floor, close grip triceps. So we can go down like this and lift up. If you are a bit more advanced, we can go to on our toes and then we can do close grip again. And if you have the facilities at home to do um, tricep dips on maybe the sofa, or a, a chair, or a bench, or a table, that's another variant that we can add in. Now, this is something new, something that I, I'll be completely honest with you, I have never done before, never done. Um, it has never needed to be in my plan at all. Like I said, I've never worked out from home, so it's never needed to be in my plan whatsoever. When I do shoulders, I go to the gym, I do lat raises, I do shoulder press, military press, things like that. But we're in this situation, so we've got to do things a little bit differently. This is called a pike press, okay? So, you get into a sort of position like this. Now, this is, this is a bit of a harder exercise for the people to do, okay? We bring our hands, our, our legs up, and we go down and we press like this. And now this is hitting our shoulders, and it's a bit harder than the regular press up, okay? And if you wanted to, guys, from before, for triceps, if you wanted to do this for triceps, all you do is bring your hands closer together and you press like this instead. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go straight into our shoulder, tricep and chest home workout. I've shown you the variants, okay? So you do whatever you feel is comfortable for you guys to do the best. I will run through this workout as if I was doing it at home. Actually, I'm, I'll be honest, I've not worked out today, so this is my actual workout, so you're gonna do it with me. So, I'm gonna get my table over here, and let's go, let's get started. Okay, so I think we'll start, do you know what? I'm just gonna run through to see how many I can do to start with. I was gonna give myself a goal of maybe 20 press-ups or 30. Let's just see what we do. So, we're gonna do press-ups. We're gonna get into triceps, and then we're gonna get into the pipe press, which is for shoulders. So, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna start off, because I, I have been going to gym for quite a while, and to be honest, this should be pretty easy, so we'll see how it is. So, my feet are gonna go on the bench, well, on, on the table, because we're at home. If you don't have a table, guys, oh, if you don't have a table, maybe just do the regular press-ups, they will have to do. Uh, I'm sure you've got a sofa or a bed. Everyone should have a bed. Put your legs up on the bed and do it like that. Okay, so let's go. So we're gonna start with incline press-ups. So let's see how many we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
right, that's 20 there, guys. I'll be honest, I could probably do a bit more, but what we're gonna do, guys, we are five minutes, well, we're, not, we're five minutes into this, but we're one minute into the actual workout. And what I wanna try and do is make this a, la a bit last a bit longer. So that's 20 reps. Now we're gonna get into 20 reps of the close grip press-ups for triceps. Again, I'm gonna put my feet on the table. So here we go. Hands close together, keep your elbows tucked in, and down. One, two. Well, that was a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. So that's triceps done. Now I'm going to move this out the way and we're going to get into the pike press. <laughs> and I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit harder than I thought it was. It's good. It is good. It's a bit more of a cardiovascular style workout, which what can we do? We're inside. We've got to make the best of it. So pike press. Here we go. Legs up, hands apart and let's go. One, two. And there's ten. Woo. Right, let's rest it off a little bit. So we've done three exercises. Three exercises. So we've done chest press ups, we've done triceps, the tricep dips and we've done the shoulder, the pipe press. So we're gonna have a minute's rest, and then we're gonna carry on. Let's see how long we've done. Good, two minutes. So make sure, make sure that you stay hydrated the whole way through, guys, the whole way through. Oh, if I can open it, it's a new shaker. There we go. And I'll be honest, guys, I am not used to fast-paced workouts like this. I go in the gym and I do four to five sets of a bench press, a shoulder press, squats, whatever it might be. So it's really taking me out of my comfort zone. So let's just see how, how it goes. I'm actually getting a bit of a pump on as well. Right, this time, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. So the first time I did triceps, I did it on the bench with my hands on the floor. This time, I'm gonna do the triceps on the bench on the table like this. You can do this on a sofa, a bed. You can do it with anything. So let's get our second set going. We're gonna start with press-ups first. Let me sort this out. There we go. Right. Let's go, press-ups. Let's see how many we can get out. There we go. One. I didn't think I would be feeling this as much as I am. And I, I hate to admit it, but I am. Anyway, so that's press-ups done. We're gonna move on to triceps now. Now, remember what I did first time? I did the triceps the same way as I did the press-up close grip. This time, I'm gonna do it on the table. You can use your bed, you can use a sofa, you can use whatever that you can find, even a little coffee table like this. Okay, so let's go. So, hands together. We're going to come down. I'll just do as many reps as we can until we feel it, okay? Two. Oh. Oh. That is dying. <laughs> it's, uh, because we're hitting chest, shoulders, and tries, all one after each other. They're all, we all use, it's, it's the compound exercise. So while we're using our chest to do the, the uh, press-ups, 
we're also using our triceps and we're also using our shoulders. When we're doing the pike press, we're predominantly hitting the shoulders, the delts, but at the same time, we're hitting the triceps and we're also very mindly hitting the chest as well. So it's quite a difficult workout because we're hitting all three very, very close together. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the pike press now. Again, this is for shoulders. So let's go. And there we go. That's our second round done. Let's have a little rest now. This isn't about doing this as fast as we can. It's about targeting each muscle group the most we can. Remember, we can't go to the gym, we're stuck at home. So it's not a race, it's about stimulating the muscle as much as we can, okay? And this is what we're trying to do here. It's not a CrossFit workout, it's not that style of things. We're just trying to stimulate the muscle as much as we can while we're at home. So let's give ourselves another 30 seconds and we're gonna get into that set again. So it's gonna be press ups, do whatever you can, tricep dips, do what you can there, and the pike press again. Now, starting this off like I did, a bit of advice, okay, which now I think of things would be great to say at the start of the video, but I didn't realize how this is gonna be. Maybe start with the easier version of the movement first. So for example, doing the press up or the pipe press of the triceps on your knees, okay? And then build your way up each round to the hardest exercise, the hardest variable of doing it, okay? It's good for me to say that now. <laughs> now I'm nearly halfway through the workout, but you know what, we'll get through it, we'll do it. So we're gonna get back to the press ups again now. I'm actually getting a good, good chest pump on. So feet on here, okay. Wait for that 14 minute mark. We've just got 10 seconds. Take as much rest as you need. Remember that guys, as much rest as you need. Right, if I was at home right now doing this, I'd have my son all around me. I'd have my cats climbing all over me, meowing for food. So it's nice doing it in this environment. Okay, let's go. Press ups first. Feet up, feet, hands far apart. And let's go, one. Well, I counted 20. If it was 20, I don't know, like I said. I struggle to count to high numbers like 20. Right, let's get into tricep dips. Now, let's start taking a 30 second breather between the sets. Okay, so we've done our, our chest, let's have 30 seconds and then we'll get into triceps. Okay, it's good to take a little bit of rest in between so we can give the maximum amount of effort to the triceps. Okay, remember, bend the elbows as much as you can and straighten at the top for full extension, okay? So here we go, legs out, heels down, and let's go. So all the way down, and up, and squeeze at the top. So down, squeeze at the top. There we go, triceps done. Oh, oh. oh I get there, I get there, gonna cramp up later. I'll tell you that for free. Okay. So we'll move on to pike press next for shoulders. Now, this, the things that I'm doing here, guys, are for people at home which have literally nothing. So if you don't have a coffee table, you can still do this workout from home. Now, there are a few variants that you can throw into this if you wanted to. If you've got very light dumbbells at home or you've got big jugs of water, for shoulders, you could do lat raises, okay? Obviously, the dumbbells in your hands, you could hold bottles of water, 
big jugs of water. My son's five. I'm sure if I wanted him to, he could grab onto my arms and I could lift out to the side like this. There's lots of different things that you can be doing with different things around the house that might be heavy. You might have an ornament or something which weighs 10, 10 kilograms, who knows? You could, you could put that out to the side. You can do front raises. You could even do rear delts to some degree. If you've got big jugs of water, anything, you could do rear delts on the side of your mattress or a coffee table. There's a lot of things that you can do at home which will, will help maintain what you've already got so you don't lose it. What I'm doing here is the basics. If you have nothing, this is something that you can at least do at home to maintain what you've got, guys. So remember, this is, this is literally the basics, but there are things you can do at home. <laughs> you could even, if you really wanted to, lie on the floor and I could put my son on me like this, do some close grip triceps, I could do chest press. There are lots of things, but again, this is basic, right? Let's get into pipe press, I've had enough rest now. So, legs up, okay, and let's go. There we go. And that's pipe press and that's round three done. We're gonna do two more rounds. Now is another really good time to get some water in. watch going. Now in here guys, I've just got two scoops of the My Protein BCAs. I have that in every single one of my drinks while I'm training and just throughout my day. One, because it makes my drink taste ridiculously nice. And two, the steady stream of BCAs going into your body all day, every day is going to help with repair. Mm. So I always keep that going. And during this time, guys, as well, we want to keep our immune system as healthy as possible. So there are lots of things we can add in. Vitamin C, vitamin D, all those things help the immune system during this time. Working out is a really good way to keep the mind healthy, the body healthy, everything healthy. And that's what we've really got to try and do throughout this time, um, is try and stay as healthy and as positive as we can because like I said at the start, we're all in this together, so let's do it. Okay, so enough waffling. Let's get into the second to last round. So we're gonna do press-ups straight away. One set done. Let's give ourselves 30 seconds and then we'll get into the next set of tricep dips. I, I, I'll be honest, I have been struggling at home to say to myself, right, I'm going to work out. I see my house as a relaxation zone. I do my workout outside of that zone. So for me to now do that workout in that relaxation zone is taking myself out of my, my comfort zone. Um, but in this time, we've just got to ignore that and we've got to try and do what we can at the house. Um, having a week off is fine. Any, anything after that, guys, I really would say, try, try and do something just like this. Like, this is the bare minimum that we can do. So let's get into triceps. Let's go. One. Now, moving on to pipe press. Probably my least favorite one out of this one, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. All right, 30 seconds, and then we'll get into it. Okay, let's go.
Now as well, the further you take your feet, the more you're gonna hit your chest. The further you bring your feet up, the more you're gonna hit your shoulders, okay? Oh, Ooh. that last one was tough. Right, we've got one more, one more round left. So let's have another rest. And then we're finito. So we've done five rounds. That's taken just under half an hour, which I think is plenty of time. It's, it, it's a good amount of time if you, if you are for some reason stuck for time being isolated in your house, which I don't think we are, but again, half an hour is plenty of time to work out. I really feel, I do actually really feel as if I've hit my muscles quite hard. Um, I've got a pump on, uh, I, I'm starting to feel tired. So I, I'll be honest, I do feel, I do feel good. Do I feel the same way as I would do at the gym? I'll be honest, probably not, but do I still feel good? Yes, I really do actually still feel good. And I didn't think I would doing workouts like this. So let's just see how long we can keep this up for and do it for the longest period of time. So last round guys, last one. So let's push this last set, okay? Let's really push it. So we've got press ups, tricep dips and the pipe press. Last set, let's make it a good one. Let's really push for this last set, okay? Feet up, let's go. There we go. Whew. That last one was tough. Uh, there are other exercises you can do as well. Um, there are obviously ab exercises you can do. You can do planks, sit-ups, things like that, but I think they're, we all know what they are. We can easily do them. You can throw these if you want to in between these sets. I just wanted to show you something we could do for the main part of your upper body, our arms, our chest and things like that, okay? But if you wanted to, you could throw some sit-ups in between, you could throw a plank in between, you could put some leg raises in between. Lots of different variables. Like I said, I just really wanted to hit my, my arms, chest and shoulders today. Okay, let's go. Right, last pipe press, we'll give ourselves 30 seconds and then we're done, we're done. Now, my recommendation after this, give yourself 10 minutes, let your, your blood, let yourself relax, let your blood get back to all its normal places and then cook up a nice bit of food, get a protein shake down you, whatever you fancy, okay? Let's go. So last pipe press. Oh, oh, that last one was hard. Do you hear me? Oh, oh, so there's five rounds. That's chest, shoulders, and triceps home workout. One thing I didn't say at the start of this, guys, which I want to say now, is just safety first while I'm doing some of these exercises. I've got a coffee table here. I weigh just above 16 stone, okay? Which is about 100 kilograms, 220 pounds. This coffee table can take my weight. Be careful at home if you're using your parents' things, if you're using your things, they might break. Doing the pipe press, the press ups, just be careful you don't slam your face into the floor or anything like that. Just be careful. But other than that, guys, that has been a chest, shoulders, and triceps home workout. I can feel it. I hope you guys have felt it too. My name's Tom Johnson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.